Stay true to yourself. Take everyday challenges in your stride and strive to make a journey of life exactly what you dream for. It was Lal Bahadur Shastri, the real son of India and godfather for the Don Trodden society and poor people of India. He was the one and only prime minister of India who made no money and lead a simple life just like a common man when he died his wife had to pay the loan which he took for his car from the Punjab National Bank it was the reality of life that touches every heart Lal Bahadur Shastri was the our second prime minister of India he was born on 2nd October 1904 When his father Sharda Prasad died at that time he was a child and his family had to pass through a life of poverty it was very difficult to earn livelihood at that time his mother used to work for him once there was a fair in his village and his mother was so poor that she could not arrange some money for lal bahadur shastri so that he could see the fair in the village but she borrowed some money from her neighbor but lal bahadur shastri refused to go to the fair because he did not want to go there at the cost of borrowed money he had a deep self respect for himself he was a man of self respect lal bahadur shastri had to cross a river to go to his school he kept cloths and books on his head and crossed the river and went to his school once the boatman asked him to sit in his boat but he refused that he would not sit in his boat because he had no money but the boatman said that i'll not take money but he he said that his conscience doesn't allow him to sit in the boat without money so we must salute such a great state man of india who had a deep respect for himself was so poor in his childhood that he had no money no money means no books he used to go to school without book and a teacher warned him again and again to bring the book but he failed to bring the book because he had no money ultimately he warned him and said you will not come to school if you don't have a book he promised that he will bring a book tomorrow and he took a book from his classmate and during whole night he copied the book in his notebook and produced to the teacher next day but the boy whom he took the book he told the reality to the teacher at that time tears rolled over his cheeks and the teacher hugged lal bahadur shastri and it was a moment where the soul of a teacher and the soul of a boy met together when he became the prime minister of india he had the notion the basic idea of governance as i see it is to hold the society together so that i can develop and march toward the certain goals those who govern must see how the people react to the administration ultimately the people are the final arbitrators he used to say he was such a great man such a great personality such a great prime minister of india he was against the untouchability and poverty he said india will have to hang down heads in shame even one person is left who is said in any way to be untouchable so he, he wanted a equal society in india without discrimination on the basis of caste and religion along with being a prime minister and the common man he was a noble father his son anil shastri says that one day his father lal bahadur shastri felt that he was not touching the feet of his elders properly and he warned anil that you have to touch the feet of elders in proper way but anil shastri said that he was doing it properly but at that time lal bahadur shastri stood up and touched the feet of his son anil shastri and said that it was a manner to touch the feet
Lal Bahadur Shastri was a man down to the earth. Once again, I would like to recall the episode when he took the car on loan from Punjab National Bank. When he died, the loan was not paid, so the bank wanted the car back. Then his wife paid the loan from her pension. She was also a great lady. There is one more story of his life. His wife saw a wife of a clerk wearing a better sari than her and she was living a lavish life at that time. Her wife desired to have a better. She went and purchased a shining sari. When her husband Lal Bahadur Shastri asked where did you get the sari, she told that she purchased it. Then he wrote a letter to the PMO to cut off his salary because he didn't want to lead a lavish life to his family. He used to send 40 rupees, 50 rupees to his wife and ask the government to make it 40 and 10 rupees were cut down. Al Bahadur Shastri was always loyal to the duties which were given to him. Once, because of a railway accident, he resigned from the post of railway minister. Nowadays, no minister will be ready to resign his post. And when he became the Prime Minister of India, he said, I tremble when I am reminded of the fact that I have to in charge of this country and parliament. When he kept Pakistan on his knees in the war, against Pakistan in 1965. After that, he had to make a treaty that was Tashkand Treaty. And in that treaty, he had to give Haji Pir and Tithwal under the pressure. And when he took a phone at that night and called to his home, his wife didn't pick up the call. His elder daughter picked up the phone and he asked that your mother is not coming to pick up the phone, why? His daughter said that she is not coming because you gave Haji Pair and Tithwal to the Pakistan. She is angry and I you. He at took his line, last the man on fell so bad in 1966 and left the world. But his memories, his dedication to the duties and his devotion will always keep him in our remembrance, in our memories and we must have respect to such a great man Lal Bahadur Shastri Jai Jawan Jai Kisan